Thanks for clicking. Canadians and businesses expect Canada's inflation rate to remain elevated, well above the Bank of Canada's 2% target range until at least 2025. This according to the Bank's Survey of Consumer Expectations and its Business Outlook Survey, just released today. The release comes on the heels of a Stats Canada report which showed that Canada's economy is springing back to life after a slowdown in December. I can catch a f break. Indeed, with economic growth still strong and many Canadians barely blinking at the 425 basis points in rate hikes that we've seen over the past year, Bank of Canada Governor Tiff Macklin must be getting nervous about the bank's ability to maintain its pause on interest rate hikes while still delivering on its 2% target inflation rate. Given that the markets and others are still continuing to predict interest rate cuts by the middle of this year, today's data shows a real disconnect between what the markets think and the outlook being offered by businesses and Canadians. So what I want to do today is go over the surveys released by the Bank of Canada, take a look at some of the complications arising for the Bank of Canada to be able to cut rates, and then discuss what to look for next. Speaking of next, it is the beginning of the month, so the local real estate board should start releasing March's data any day now, and we'll obviously have updates out on that data on this channel. Click like and subscribe if you want to get those updates, but for now, let's get into these surveys. First up, the Canadian Survey on Consumer Expectations, which revealed that Canadians' inflationary expectations remain elevated, although they are moving in the right direction. And the survey is of real importance, as the Bank of Canada has said on multiple occasions that it looks to these surveys when it's deciding to raise interest rates or not, as it tries to ensure that inflationary expectations don't become entrenched. We talked about entrenched expectations before on this channel. If Canadians think inflation is going to be higher in six months than it is now, they're going to spend their money now which will put more upward pressure on inflation, thereby creating a self-reinforcing loop. But inflation expectations in Canada are coming down, although slowly, from their peak in the third and fourth quarter of 2022, with Canadians, in general, thinking inflation will retreat by about 1% in the next year's time. In one year's time, Canadians think inflation will be sitting at 6%, 4.3% in two years' time, and about 3% in five years from now. And although expectations are moving in the right direction, they remain much, much higher than the bank's 2% policy rate, and they also remain much, much higher than they were pre-pandemic. And the survey also revealed that Canadians aren't exactly confident that the Bank of Canada will even be able to get the inflation rate back down to that 2% target range with one third of respondents thinking that government spending is limiting the bank's ability to get inflation under control. So according to the survey, even if Canadians were confident in the bank's commitment to get inflation back down to 2%, one third of them expect the government to get in the way. Him, not me. And it's not just inflationary expectations which are going to have the Bank of Canada concerned but so too is the fact that Canadians are continuing to spend. And while we've talked before on this channel about Canadians continuing to spend despite the 425 basis points worth of rate hikes that we've seen over the past year, the survey appears to bear this out, showing that 63% of respondents saying they'll go out to restaurants as much or more than they did over the past year. And another 55% said that they will still travel, still go out to hotels just as much as they did before the bank increased rate. Given that the rate hikes that we've seen are intended to get Canadians to slow down the spending, to slow down the economy, to induce a recession, this is not a great sign for the Bank of Canada. And neither are the rising wage expectations, which also shot back up last quarter with Canadians in the public and private sectors both expecting higher wage growth than they had previously. And as we've talked about before on this channel, higher wage growth is something the Bank of Canada does not want to see. It's even warned businesses not to offer higher wages in an attempt to attract workers. The bank has been explicit in its attempt to prevent a wage price spiral, where in which a higher price of goods lead to higher wage demands, which lead to higher wages, which in turn get passed on to higher price of goods, and so on and so on. So, not a whole lot of great news coming out of the survey of consumer expectations, with Canadians still expecting inflation to remain elevated over the next few years, Canadians continuing to spend, and also demanding higher wages. You're gonna f everything up. And while the expectation of wage increases on the part of consumers have shot back up over the past quarter, so too have the expectations on the part of businesses that they will have to provide higher wages as well. Over the past few quarters, businesses did see their wage expectations plummet, only to see that drop level off in this month's survey. It is not just wage expectations that are continuing to rise on behalf of businesses, with the majority of businesses also thinking that the inflation rate will be well above 2% until at least 2025. 
With that said, it's not all bad news coming out of the Business Outlook survey with some signs of a moderation in the labor market showing up. More than half of the businesses surveyed expect to expand over the next 12 months, expect to be hiring, and firms are reporting that it's getting easier to find the workers that they need. So, in summary, from the Canadian Survey of Consumer Expectations and the Business Outlook Survey, things are getting better, they are moving in the right direction, but not nearly as fast as the Bank of Canada would like. Inflation expectations are coming down, but they are coming down slowly. Wage expectations aren't as high as they were a year ago, but the pace of those wage expectation declines is definitely slowing and in the case of consumers are popping back up. And this lends support to what we talked about so many times on this channel. It's not a straight shot back to that 2% target inflation rate once the Bank of Canada raises rates. Inflation can remain sticky. Inflation expectations can remain sticky on the minds of Canadians for a long time. Once inflationary expectations become entrenched, once Canadians begin to think that tomorrow's prices are going to be higher than today's, it's very, very difficult to get those expectations to reverse. And as such, inflation can remain sticky for a very, very long time. And although not the subject of today's video, news that OPEC would be cutting production and gas prices would be going back up is definitely not what the doctor ordered and definitely not going to help with Canadians' perception that the price of goods is coming down, that the increase in the price of goods is slowing, or that the Bank of Canada will be able to get to a point where it can cut interest rates in the next couple of months. So, although the markets are predicting interest rate cuts over the next couple of months, at least by the end of 2023, today's data shows that that might not exactly be the case and the Bank of Canada may not be able to get inflation back to the point where it can cut rates for quite some time. With that said, we will continue to have updates out on this channel on the Bank of Canada's attempt to get that inflation rate back down to 2%. Click like and subscribe if you want to get those updates, but for now, thanks so much for watching.